everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to talk about this gorgeous gorgeous sweatshirt that I repurposed. It was just a probably a five-year-old sweatshirt nothing fancy and now it looks like this. Ready? Isn't that amazing? The design is from I need a good design and I'm going to show you guys how exactly I put this together. Now I happen to have a big enough hoop for the front. You can see how that fits and the S is one part. These are different parts. So if you don't have a huge hoop like this, you will still be able to do the design. You just have to piece it together and mark it together and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So that's the front part, that was easy enough. Now if you're piecing it together, the best way to do it is to print out your templates. So that's what I did to figure it out. This one I did on the software. I didn't resize anything, but I brought it in to fit into my bigger hoop. So these are the pieces that I liked. And what you can do is just, you know, figure out where they're going to go. I did this for the sleeve part. Now we are going to talk about hooping the sleeve and we are going to do it. So I have a special sleeve hoop which I'm gonna oops show you right now now this is a really good hoop it's for Ragnar which is my brother 1000 e and you can see by the shape of it that it fits nicely in a in a sleeve and they're for pants as well so jeans now if you don't have this hoop don't worry you can still do work on the sleeves but this one it it's really cool the machine recognizes it you see by the sticker here, you have to use it in the B arm. And I think it's really nice because the machine recognizes it and you can just get to work because you know everything's gonna fit. Now, my first problem was the crown. I wanted the crown at the top and you could see that it wouldn't fit into the hoop. Let me get my template of the crown, there it is. So I have my template and I placed it where I wanted and you can see I have nice folds this way and that way so I can put my placement sticker exactly where I want so that's how I did that one um, now the difference is this does not fit in the sleeve hoop so I had to use a 4x4 hoop and it fit in perfectly which you can do at any point um, unless the sweatshirt is really small but you can do this at any point because it's easy to hoop it's not very narrow you're at the shoulder so you can do it so that's that's one thing of the planning now if you look here you can see how beautiful this is now this is two designs here they are with my template nicely folded again one and two and they both fit in my sleeve hoop with a little bit of room to spare which was really helpful so again the way I did this as you can almost see actually but I'll show you guys how to do it I have the stabilizer on the back and then it's pretty hard to do with the embroidery then you finger press the line so now you have a nice line to follow up on and the stabilizer already on the back is going to help with that and then that makes placement so much easier so it's hard to see the line i don't think it shows up on camera but you can you'll be able to place it how you want and how it would look good now because this is an old sweatshirt it's kind of all stretched out i was actually able to hoop it with the sleeve hoop the whole way through which is really nice but if you don't have a sleeve hoop all you have to do is take this apart take this all the way up and then you'll be able to fold it out flat now that would be really nice to do as well because you could do bigger designs on it and you could have instead of the designs just going striping down there you could do designs all the way from one to all the way around your arm and I think that would be cool too and then you just got to stitch it back when you're done so either way you can do this now the only really tricky one that I had 
was here on the shoulder and I managed to get it placed perfectly but you can see my template and I wanted it to just touch the lines tiny tiny bit off but not really so I wanted it to just touch the lines and be there and I actually thought that you know it might be cool to bring this all the way up and then down. I didn't end up doing this, but that is how you plan it out. Now, another way you can do to plan it out is print all your templates again, place them, and kind of tape them down, and then you can see put it on and you can see how it all sits. Now, I know how this one sits and I know how it's gonna look, um, but that's how you set it up. Now, again, this front part, I did it all in one. I just merged the the different pieces to make it look like this you can see right here is a single one and it is the same that I did on the hood now this was easy to hoop too I did it on a four by four of course you fold it you make the line proper and then you you know fold it out and you can hoop it in a four by four so this one was really easy to do and it just kind of adds an effect to it but I thought as I was designing this I thought that this space here was a bit too much so I found little ones I probably could have done one or two um, I wanted it to be balanced now another idea I had I thought this would look fantastic right like this let me move it up to continue it all the way down but I didn't I didn't want to hoop it so there's six hoopings in this shirt so this I managed to do all in one but if you have to split it up with a five by seven you can easily do that and again you just make your placements and put your stickers and you might want to you know label these guys so you know which one it is when you take it to the machine and just hoop and go um so that's one this is two the shoulder one now i wanted to mention too i found it a little tricky to get it on the machine to fit properly and to not sew itself shut so it just took me a few minutes so that's two that's three right here and again I did this with a four by four it's a little bit bigger but you have all this room inside the shirt so you're okay on that it does not look good and then these are two more and then of course the hood there you go so that's all it is the more you put into embroidery the more you get out of it and I think my shirt is amazing so let's hoop the other side because a lot of people indicated that they wanted to learn how to hoop a sleeve now yep that'll be fine this is what you have to work with if you want to open up the seam you will have much more to work with and you could even use a big hoop all the way across so you can do different things if you don't have the proper hoop the sleeve hoop for it so the first thing I do is and this is a really handy trick and I do it for just about everything turn it inside out and we want it there's the shoulder seam you can see that so we want it flat with the shoulder seam you know basically in the middle not not too you don't have to be too particular about it so basically in the middle I have this handy dandy roll of cutaway stabilizer now you really do need to use cut cutaway stabilizer on a sweatshirt we need to hold those stitches this one is a small roll and I don't use it for anything else other than perhaps sleeves and pants it just doesn't fit too many more hoops so that looks good okay a little bit of spray I use the gun old spray any kind that you want and this is the trick to it remember don't spray near your machine ever you don't have to be particular we're just gonna slap it down now I'm gonna do the whole entire sleeve the whole sleeve and I should get really good coverage so once you do that and it's gonna stay enough you have to be a little gentle with it we're going to turn it back to the right side just kind of grab it with your hand and gently pull it you don't want to unhook it the stabilizer 
and you might have to stick your hand in there and flatten it out a little bit. It might be a little fiddly, but honestly, this will save you a lot of blood, sweat, and tears because there's nothing worse than finally getting it hooped and realize you don't have the stabilizer underneath. So take a minute to do this. I made it a bit long, but there we go, we got it. Now the next thing we do is we've got our point right here and you can see the stabilizer. So this is our center point and we're just gonna gently fold it and before you crease it, kinda make sure everything's laid out. That was a bit of a thing and give it a good finger press because we have the cutaway stabilizer on it underneath um, it's going to make a nice line for us so let's open it up and just get my hand in there so I'm, i want to make it so you guys can see isn't that fantastic so now once you've got a gorgeous placement line you can see it hopefully you can see it that's when you can start with your placement. Now you can try different things and see what you think. I had uh, the ones that I really liked. Now on the other shoulder, this is what I did. I did it this way and then I did this longer one. But I also had thoughts of doing this. I kind of looked at it and auditioned it. That would require another hooping with the sleeve hoop on this side and then another one on this side but I didn't do it I liked it just all the way down so for my machine we use these handy dandy snowman stickers and this takes a lot of the precision placement out of the <laughs> equation it makes it so much easier so let's do the placement for the top the crown and remember this has to go on a four by four so I can see my line I can see the line here at the top and I want it to be about like about like that now I have creased the paper on the fold lines the center part so it makes it a lot easier to do it so I'm gonna put it here now I've got my lines to line up with and I'm just gonna to touch it down just a little bit and I'm gonna fold it this way and see how we did it's a little bit off I want it exactly there so I'm gonna do it the opposite way I can see my lines yep and now give it a good push down now that one you might want to put a sticky note this is the crown and I am going to kind of leave it there for a second because I want to place up this one and you can't, you won't be able to figure it out. So place this like this. The other thing you can do is just do one and then bring it back and do your placement for the other one. That may be easier. Um, that way you get better placement because you don't want this to cross over you don't want it you know down too far I wanted it nice and close so we've got our folds here I really like this so there's my line keep track of your line there it is and I want it up about like that so again we do our placement sticker and you're gonna put it right here I have to grab one so right there there now I moved it so I am gonna double check sometimes you know taking a little bit of time is what makes it really good so I like this I like this so put it like this and then all we have to do is make sure it's perfectly on our line which it is now if you can't see your line you can always go ahead and fold it over again um, I could see it just fine. I don't know if you guys can. So now we have our placements. Send your design to the machine and we can get hooping and get ready to do this. So I'm going to show you guys how to use this sleeve hoop. And remember, we're not going to take the, the sleeve apart. You can, of course, and you can do different things with it, but I'm not going to do it for this one. I like just doing it this way. So this is the bottom part of the hoop and what we're going to do, because we've got the stabilizer all the way to the end, it makes it a lot easier to put the bottom part of the hoop in. You can do it from the top as well. 
whichever way works. I happen to know that it fits through here. It was living on the embroidery edge to uh, do right at the bottom, but I did it and I'm happy. Now, because we've put our stabilizer in, we don't have to worry about stabilizer placement. It is there and it's gonna cover everything that we do. So yeah, it might've been easier to go the other way. Now, how I do it is I feel the hoop. You can see that is the center. Where does it end? Up here. We want to try to generally get this in the middle. Now this one has, we have a little wiggle room, but see how you can see the hoop nicely here? That's easy to do. And the machine will fix the angles of it, so it's really nice. Now I always put the top over. Now we're over a little bit too far here, so before you even hoop, just kind of press down can you see that? It's just going to slightly move it. Now that looks better. The angle might be a smidgen off. So the other thing that's really good to do is I put the screws for the bottom part of the hoop where I can reach them. I'm turning the hoop right now to make it wider because we don't want to mess this up. Now look, that went in perfectly perfectly. Now you got to countersink it. And because I loosened it, I am going to tighten it up a little bit. Now, if you don't like doing it this way, because you really have to turn, you know, to make it tighter, pop it out very carefully, tighten the hoop up just maybe a quarter of a turn and rehoop and pull it up. And I think that'll hold fine. So when you put it in the machine, uh, you're not going to go this way in. And I'm, I'm assuming you have a multi-needle machine because that's what this hoop is. You have to go this way. So then you don't have to worry about anything. So your hoop's going to be this way. And it gets a little tight at the bottom, so keep an eye on it. I think if you had a really small sweatshirt, I don't think it would work at all because I think it would be too tight on the arm underneath. And if you pull on the underneath, it's going to pull this out and you're going to make a mess. So that's how you load it on the machine. And let's dig in here and be a little crazy. We've got extra, but look how perfectly the stabilizer is. You don't have to worry about it. I didn't have to worry about cutting a piece that would fit or anything like that. It just works and it just makes it so easy and it's all the way to the end. I can't really show that to you, but it's all the way into the end. Now, the other brilliant part is when I do my next hooping, it already has stabilizer, so I don't have to do anything. I would stitch this, I would stitch the first one on the four by four, I would stitch this out, and then come back and hoop for this one. Now, when I did this on the other side, I sat and watched it because, like I said, it was a bit tight and I was really nervous, but I like to live on the embroidery edge, so I did. A little bit risky. So that's how you hoop a sleeve. That's how you take little designs and make a big one, and you could multi-hoop this. You could just do the placement like we did on the sleeve and do each one and make it as big as you want. There's a lot more room on this sweater, so you could add more designs here and down. I think there were about 10, 10 flower designs in the group. I'll have to look. It's a neat, a good design, and it's one of the monogram designs. I'll put a picture up, and it's just artistic so you put pieces together that you think look good you can either do it on the computer or with your templates it's like a decorating puzzle and you can do it and you know what it looks really good I'm so happy how this one turned out it gets a lot of comments people notice it and it's fantastic I know my shirts upside down so isn't that great so repurpose your old sweatshirts and make them into something absolutely spectacular with just a few Anita Good Design designs and a nice monogram. Make sure you use cutaway on sweatshirts 
and you too can make something really cool like this. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys will post your repurposed sweatshirts and in the OML Embroidery University group. I can't wait to see them. So thanks everyone for watching. Give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next video.